is uh, showing a quick glee. Um, the TFT35 version 3.0 uh, with the runout sensor. I am out of filament. my filament uh, sensor right here uh, it came from Amazon with the three wires uh, this is why I chose the TFT uh, 35 version 3 for the runout sensor issue and as you can see I have run out of filament um, and the reason why I have it backed off from the extruder is so that I can go ahead and uh, ex uh, bring it back out to feed in uh, new filament. To show that I hit, I, uh, hit confirm, um, and then I went to more, and then uh, extrude, and then starting to unload what's in there. That will keep me from uh, pinching the extruder, limit the risk of moving uh, my Y axis, or sorry, my Z axis uh, down, which would screw up the measurement. This particular uh, runout sensor has a little LED in it to show that it is loading correctly and then I'll go ahead and push it through to the extruder. So I barely pinched the uh, extruder uh, tension knob to uh, feed my uh, filament in and I get just got it enough and I moved my little Yoda out of the way um, to get it barely starting into the uh, building tube. Uh, the reason why I do this is to, again, risk, uh, reduce risk of pushing the Z-Rod down until I figure out a way of how to lock that Z-Rod from moving at all uh, by accidentally pushing it. That's the way I'm going to have to do it. So, I did have a, by the way, a, uh, a filament um, guide that was a lot shorter, but it didn't allow me to attach this uh, with enough room uh, to go into the extruder uh, and allow me to pull it out. Uh, now that I have that uh, put in just barely, I go ahead and go over here and load until it starts coming out the nozzle. So it's already starting to come out the nozzle. I'm just going to wipe just a little bit out and then I can come back to back, back, Resume. And there it is. And of course, you know, I have to replace my little Yoda. This is the runout sensor that I use that has a three pin connection on it. Uh, you will have to switch the white and red, the power and sensor connection when connecting to the back of the TFT uh, because when I did a direct connection it was actually pausing the entire system and what I mean is it the system wouldn't go into pause is the system would just stop. Uh, the power was still on, but n that was it. It was completely frozen. Uh, once I switched those around, uh, it was fine. Here's the TFT35 version 3.0. The back end on the top is where the red arrow is, uh, is where you connect for the runout sensor. In Visual Studio, you go to Configuration H under the User folder. Now, I honestly do not remember if I had to comment this in. I'm pretty sure that I did not have to comment this in. And the only thing that I had to change for me was switching it from true to false, as you can see there, uh, as it would pause the system with the filament in and start it with the filament out for me. So I had to switch it to false. To turn on the run out sensor, we go into, after we have it hooked up, menu, Settings. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not left handed. Feature runout sensor. Right now it's on. We have smart on, off, and I'm going to put it back, back on. Um, just as simple as that. Uh, and the code change for me uh, to make it uh, false instead of true. And it was ready to go. 
Okay, and it's finished. And, oh, worse for the wear.